Vladimir Putin has been giving his State of the Nation address. He talked about the risks of a nuclear war and said the West provoked the war in Ukraine. Uh, we'll hear that in a moment. First, though, let's take a look at some of the claims he made. He said Russia is gaining territory in what he insisted was a defensive operation in Ukraine. He thanked uh, members of the armed forces fighting in Ukraine and their families at home. But he didn't mention what it might take for Russia to end its military action in Ukraine. And nor did he touch on what's been happening to his political rivals, like the opposition leader Alexei Navalny, who died in a uh, prison this month. While well, Vladimir Putin had this message for Western countries supporting Ukraine's military. Uh, they are talking about sending NATO military contingents to Ukraine. But we can recall what happened to those who used to send their contingents to our country. The consequences for these potential um, uh, intruders will be much more tragic now. They need to finally understand that we too have weapons, and they know that, I have just mentioned, we too have weapons that can strike targets on their territory. And everything that they're thinking of now, everything that they use to threaten us and the world, that all this is a real threat of nuclear weapons being used, which spell destruction of civilization. Well, let's get more on this. BBC Monitoring's uh, Russia editor Vitaly Shevchenko is with me. Vitaly, uh, so talk us through what stood out for you and what Vladimir Putin has been saying. What stood out for me was how predictable his speech was. He still, the Russian president still describes his own country, Russia, as a nation which has been defending its legitimate interests uh, against an aggressive West, which is... Um, described in his speech as a destabilizing force creating conflicts across the world. The first half hour of his two-hour speech focused uh, pretty heavily on what Vladimir Putin describes as a special military operation in Ukraine. He claimed that his forces in Ukraine are making progress and are fighting um, heroically. He reiterated uh, warnings to the West not to get more involved in Ukraine. Vladimir Putin said that Russia's nuclear arsenal was in full combat readiness. And he said that Russia had weapons uh, that would allow it to strike Western nations in their territory. What followed was... Um, could be reasonably described as a speech that would be given by an official ahead of an election. And Russia is holding presidential elections in two weeks' time, which Vladimir Putin is all but certain to win. He talked at length about all the measures that his government is planning to, to carry out, to uh, improve infrastructure, help the Russian economy. He reeled off uh, numerous figures. What he didn't mention in his State of the Nation address is uh, the state of the Russian opposition, the political life, for example. He uh, didn't mention the death of Russia's most prominent opposition figure, Alexei Navalny, two weeks ago, nor did he say anything about the general uh, atmosphere of repression in Russia. Um, so very few surprises in his speech there. And let's, talk, let's focus a little bit on what he said about weapons, nuclear weapons, just so we can be absolutely clear with issues like translation and context. So just talk me through what he said. In terms of what he said about Russia's nuclear weapons, I think he used, he used a pretty unusual phrase. He said that Russian nuclear arsenal was in full combat, com, uh, combat readiness for guaranteed deployment. That's not a phrase I've heard him use before. Whether or not it means that Russia is seriously considering a nuclear strike against the West is a completely different matter. But clearly this, this message is designed as a deterrent to the West not to get involved uh, in Ukraine even more. Uh, President Putin also spoke at length about various new and sophisticated weapons such as hypersonic missiles, which Russia has been uh, developing and using in Ukraine. 
So the, the message there is that Russia is successful despite Western sanctions in developing new weapons which it's determined to use, according to Vladimir Putin, to defend itself. And lastly, just before I let you go, Vital, you mentioned that election. Uh, there's no doubt, is there, about the outcome? Absolutely not. Uh, Vladimir Putin is firmly in control of what's happening in Russia, the electoral system, legal uh, system, so his victory is all but guaranteed.